Okay, let's go to line three on the Papa John's hotline as we've got Coach Greg Wyant, the head coach of Siegel, joining us on the phone. Uh, coach Wyant, tough, tough night tonight, uh, but you got the win when you didn't play your best. How you, how you feeling now? Um, I feel good. I'm proud about our kids because they fought through some adversity. Um, we didn't do a very good job as a staff preparing our kids this week. Um, you know, we came out flat, and that's that's that. It's my fault, and I'll take all the blame for that. But I'm proud of the way our kids fought back through some adversity. And and uh, uh, you know, when we were when we were down six to nothing at the half, we came back in the halftime, and everything was you know, was no yelling or screaming or anybody was all tore up. We just came back in and regrouped and went back out there and. Uh, give give some credit to Independence. Now they did a good job. They did a real good job uh, with their scheme on defense, and, uh, and a good job of keeping the ball away from us tonight. We're talking to head coach Greg Wyant, the head coach of the Seagull Stars, as his team victorious over uh, over Independence uh, by a final of twenty one to fourteen. You trailed uh, may, maybe a third of the game, six to nothing to Independence, and Denzel Harding was not in the game. Was is is Denzel been fighting an injury? We've been we've been trying to hold him hamstring strain, and we're trying to hold him a little bit. And we 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 just needed a spark. Talked to him before the ball. He probably could have gone. He probably could have started for us. Uh, but we were trying to hold him and keep him from getting hurt any further. And you know we needed a spark at halftime, and and we put him back in there. And I think his first three carries, he had 99 yards. So uh, he came in there and sparked us. Plus he had a you know had a huge catch for us on the off sideline. Uh, so he came in and got us sparked up, and, and, and we did a better job in the second half. Big win tonight over Independence, an Independence team that's that's uh, in the fight and 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 have qualified really probably as a wild card for the playoffs, and and maybe even a, a, a seeded team as runner up in their district. This uh, this game was kind of a uh, playoff preview. Uh, I'm sure that you're going to use some of the lessons from tonight's game in preparations in the coming weeks, aren't you? Yeah, we needed that. We needed that as a team. We needed that as a coaching staff. We needed that as players to 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 understand that, uh, you know, and we know. We know they're not all going to be easy, and it's 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 almost been too easy up to this point. Um, and, you know, it's you're talking about 16-, 17-year-old kids. It's easy to get lax, but it's our job as a staff to try to keep them you know, focused and on what the what the ultimate goal is, and, and prepare them to to be able to play in situations like that. Again, I'm I'm proud of the way they fought through some adversity and and uh, played hard for us. All right, Greg, congratulations! You got the big stand. I think uh, was an interception on Independence's last drive. Is that is that how you got the ball back? Yeah, that's how we got the ball back. They threw a ball over the middle, and Sean McKnight intercepted the ball for us. Uh, uh, it was a big play. We needed it at that point in time. They were they were starting to drive a little bit, and um, you know we were only up by seven. So you know it, it, we had some concern in us, but uh, you know we we fought back. All right, congratulations, my friend. You're not as as chipper as always. So I'm guessing, uh, but I I do know this. You're not gonna have to eat oatmeal in the morning. No, that's true. And I mean, you know, I I'm disappointed. I'm happy we're nine and zero. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm you know. Uh, I, I'm proud of, of where we're at, and, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm proud of the way our kids fought through things tonight. You know, uh, you know, last I heard, 21 was more than 14. It's a W in 30 years. Nobody will know what the score was. They'll just know if you won. So there it is. I'm, I, I'm happy about that. All right, buddy. Take care. Uh, we will talk to you next week. Uh, you've got who? Uh, you've got. Uh, Smyrna? You got to go to Smyrna. You got to Smyrna. All right. Well, good luck uh, in that, and uh, good luck on your chase for a ten and zero per, uh, regular season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dan. All right. Take care. That is Greg Wyant, uh, the head coach for Seagull.